Hi, once again welcome to swarsaptaka.com. In audio editing and mixing tips and tutorial, this is Audacity tutorial part 2 in the beginner series. Audacity is a freeware open source software for audio editing, mixing, recording on Windows and Mac. In the Audacity tutorial part 2, we will see how to open audio files in Audacity and its playback features. Audacity can be downloaded from audacity.sourceforge.net. For detailed description on installation, please watch part 1 of this tutorial. In this part, we will see what are the different ways to open an audio file inside the Audacity. Let me run Audacity first. There are various methods to open file, but first I'll explain the usual one from the file menu, from open dialog. Click on open and select your file and click open. You can also use keyboard shortcut for this. Commando on Mac and Control O on Windows and select the file and click on open and this opens the file. But my favorite method is drag and drop. So you open Audacity, empty clean Audacity and select any audio file, drag it to the empty area and leave it. This opens the file. Now I will drop another file into the project, but first I will adjust the height of the first track by grabbing the edge of the track and up and down and choosing the desired height. That's fine. I will click drag another audio and leave it on the project. That creates another track. Now as you can see, there are two different tracks with two different audio files and they appear little different, they look different because the first track has two channels since the file I dropped was a stereo file and a stereo file has two channels left and right and the second track is a mono file and mono files are single track. Many of you might already know this but there are many people who would like to know how they look and also how they sound. So I click play So it's obvious that stereo file is drum and mono file is guitar. Another way to open audio from import dialog. File menu, import and audio and select your audio. I'll select bass here and click open. Now third track is open. That's also mono. So import is a way to open a new audio file in the same project. And file open or control O option will always open the audio in a new project or new window. So we have three files here now. So let's play and listen first. So as you can see, Audacity can play multi-track at once so you can mix them together you can listen them and mix and render them together and you want to audition them separately that's also possible since all the tracks you can mute and solo first i'll adjust the height to explain this that you can see the track panel clearly and uh, now you can see the all the track panel has mute and solo button so you can mute or solo them for auditioning or maybe rendering. So I'll use the solo and hit play. So you can see only drums, deactivate solo, activate solo, activate guitar, activate bass. And using shift key on your keyboard, you can have looped playback. Whenever you press shift, this play icon changes into looped playback and hit play. You 
can use keyboard shortcut for them, spacebar for playback, and shift plus spacebar for loop playback. As you know that keyboard shortcuts are quicker than mouse. Now we will listen to a selected portion of the audio uh, by making a selection in the audio. Uh, maybe this track, maybe track above here. And select this area and hit play. So this will play only selected area. Now looped playback for the same. You can change your selection area by clicking the edge and dragging it on the both sides. The other side, click and drag and adjust the length and just you can audition it. And this is not perfect loop, but you got the idea how to do it. In the previous part of this tutorial, we discussed that how you can use slower and faster playback feature in the Audacity. So here in this portion, that adjustment is, so you can hit playback, the normal speed. I will increase the speed to 1.5 or so and hit play. Now slowing it down a little bit. That's fine. Hit play. So you got the idea. This feature can be useful when you want to hear something slower or faster, depending on your situation. You have to find one. Now I want to draw your attention to something very important in Audacity or to any audio for that matter. That is your peak level meters here. This is your peak level meter. In case you click on drop down menu, if it is disabled, then click enable meters. Now it is enabled. This meter will show us peak levels and RMS level of the audio file. Peak level, as you see, the waveform has a lot of peaks in there. So these are the peaks. And RMS level is the overall loudness of your audio file our ear perceives while we listen to audio. So keep close eyes on the level meters while I play this audio. So you might have noticed there was a green indicator and also there's a red indication here in the top level of the in level meters. That means showing my file is basically clipping and clipping means it is crossing the 0 dB level, which is the loudness level. So in short, you have to watch these clippings very carefully while you work with audio, since clipping means distortion. More clipping, more distortion. And it can even damage your equipments like speakers, headphones, maybe your ear also. So I reduced the gain a little bit. I deliberately increased it to demonstrate on this video. So I reduced a little bit. And, and this will be reset while I play it again. As you can see is in the level indicator, there's a dark green area and the light green area. Dark green area shows the peak level, which is faster reaction. Light green area is RMS level, which is the overall loudness our ear can perceive while we listen to any audio. So in short, you need to avoid the red indicators in the level meters, which means clipping. So this brings us at the end of Audacity Tutorial Part 2 video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.